In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can SSH into your Android phone. This is going to be an update on the previous video because the method shown in the previous video has unfortunately stopped working. So the first thing you want to do is install this app called SSH Server. I'll leave the link to this app down in the description down below so you can easily download it. So the thing you want to do is click on Users. As you see, there's already a user named Anonymous. Uh, but in my opinion, I would not use this because the username and password for this user is SSH. So if someone's uh, trying to attack you or something and they scan the network using Nmap and they see that you have running an SSA server, you can they can easily get into your phone. So what you, you want to do is click on this new create new user button, type in the name, I'll just type in Bob, username, Bob, lowercase, password, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you want to click on the check mark. You're pretty much good to go. Go click on home, click on start. As you see, um, everything is running, and this is our IP address and the port. Go on to your terminal, type in SSH and the username, which in my case is Bob, at and the local IP address 192. Oops, 192.168.0.105 and the port, so dash p, is 2222. Click enter. You'll get this message. Just type in yes. And then it'll ask you for the password. Here, type in the password that you created. So in my case, it's 12345. And boom. You're in, and as you see in the app, it has detected that you've accessed the SSH server. But unfortunately, it says it permission denied when you're trying to list all the files. That's because you're in the root um, folder. So to access all your files, just type in cd for change directory uh, uh, slash storage storage. Um, forward slash emulated slash zero do list you've got access to all of your uh, files on your phone so thank you for watching hope this video helped you guys and um, see you guys next time